Hi ladies and gentlemen. Today our goal is to learn to identify decimal place value. So the first thing I've done is I have put that decimal place value into my table of contents and I've labeled it with the number of the page that I will place my notes on. If you need to stop the video at any time because it's moving too quickly or you need to review, please feel free to do that. Also remember that if you don't have these two little notes, uh, you can click on the link that was above this video to get them. So we're going to talk about decimal place value today. Um, just a little review about decimals. I think the uh, most practical application of decimals for us is money. We use decimals in money all the time to talk about parts less than a whole dollar. So if I were reading this number here, $1,432.27. You can see that the and is where my decimal goes, and then the 27 cents is less than a whole dollar. Now, we need to be able to tell that this two is in the tenths place and this seven is in the hundredths place. And so we've got a place value chart here to help us with that a little bit. I want you to look a little bit at this place value chart, and you can see that. Um, it mirrors around the decimal point. So you're used to our whole numbers going 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, million. The same thing happens on the other side of the decimal point, except that we don't have a ones place. The decimal and the ones place kind of mirror each other. And then we start with, instead of 10, it's tenths kind of sounds like you can't talk correctly. You try to add that TH at the end of it. And we know that when we add that TH at the end of it, we're talking about a decimal place value, but it goes tens, tenths, hundreds, hundredths, thousands, thousands. So this follows the same pattern as the numbers, uh, the whole numbers on the other side of the decimal point. We just add that TH at the end of it. So again, our job today is to identify the place values that are underlined, and I tried to highlight them a little bit for you so that we knew what we were identifying here. And we can use our place value chart for that. So uh, right here I've got the number two, that is two places away from the decimal point, and I want to tell what place value it's in. So if I look at my chart, there's my decimal point, and then two places away from my decimal point is the hundredths place. And so I'll open up my little tab and write in the word hundredths, H-U-N-D-R-E-D-T-H-S. And I would read this number then, 4,396 and 4,278 ten thousandths, because the eight falls into the ten thousandths place. All right, so our next place value to identify is this three right here. So I'm going to practice a little bit without the place value chart and see how I do. So I know that the number right after the decimal point has to be the tenths. And then if I follow that pattern, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So I think it'll be the ten thousandths place. Let's check ourselves. We're one, two, three, four places away from the decimal point. So over here, one, two, three, four places away from the decimal point, sure enough, that three is in the ten thousandths place. And so I'll write in the word ten thousandths. Again, remembering to put my little TH at the end so that I know I'm talking about a decimal place value. Okay, at this point, go ahead and pause the video and try the rest of these to see how you do on these. Once you get all of them done, go ahead and start the video up again, and we'll see how you did. All right, let's see how you did on that. So for this number, we're identifying the seven. Did you say tenths place? If you did, you were correct. On this number, we're one, two, three, four, five places away from the decimal point. So one, two, three, four, five places puts me in the hundred thousandths. Next number, the four, 
is in the thousands place. Now, I tried to fool you a little bit on the next one. The one isn't a decimal number at all, is it? That's in the ones place. Just wanted to make sure you didn't forget what you already know. Down here, our six is one, two, oh, I'm sorry, our six is one place away from the decimal point. And so we know that that will be the tenths. Our two is one, two, three, four, five, six places away from the decimal point. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That one's in the millionths place. Nice easy one here. One spot after the decimal point in the tenths place. And then finally, three spots away from the decimal point, the thousandths place. All right, so you've concluded your notes on this. I hope that you feel comfortable finding decimal number place values. Your job now is to watch the next video. See you guys in class on Monday. No, Tuesday. <laughs>